Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be editing this beautiful image by Anna Brandt using the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Photoshop Action Collection. This set contains over 45 actions for transforming your image into a bright and beautiful winter scene. So let's get started. I'm going to use the Sharp Add White Winter to start with. I'm going to select a brush on white, set to 100% opacity, 25% flow, and I'm going to start painting this on. And you will see it gives everything, everywhere I paint, a lovely kind of frosty, snow-kissed feel. I'm being quite careful not to paint this onto the children. And you can see, because my brush is quite soft, I'm going over the edges a little bit. But that's okay, because I can go and tidy that up in a moment. I'm leaving these slightly blurred um, tips of the trees, and I'll show you why in a moment. Let's just fade that up a little bit. Add some nice frost to the ground. I'm also going to add some frost to the car bonnet here. Shrink that brush right down. I'm just changing my brush size to add this kind of wintry frost anywhere it needs to be. And now to uh, take this off of the children, I'm going to switch to a black brush, zoom in, and I'm just going to take this off of the hair, the skin, anywhere I accidentally ran over. I'm not being too careful about the edge selection um, because in a moment I'm going to use the winter tone paint just to fill in those gaps. But it's quite important uh, for this image that I don't have snow on the children because it does not look right. Okay, so now I'm going to add the winter tones and I'm going to select a white brush, make it a lot smaller, and I'm just going to use this to take those greens away. being quite careful not to run it over the skin or anywhere else. And I'm going to use this to sweep over the tops of those trees too. Because if I use the add snow to trees and things it's going to really kind of wipe that out and I'd rather keep that detail so I'm just going to use the winter tone layer. You see there, it's removing those greens but still keeping the integrity of the tones. So I'm just sweeping this over anywhere where I want to get rid of those green tones. And back onto the Add Snow just to finish off. instead. Okay, so now we have a snow kiss scene before and after. I'm going to come down here now to the winter retouch brushes and I'm going to play the skin retouch workflow. This is a multi-layer base um, in a group that will set up um, all the layers you need for editing skin. Because these layers are open as well, I've just realised I've left a little bit of greenery here. So I still have this one open, the winter tones. So I'm just going to grab a white brush and take that down a little bit. You can come back and edit as much as you want before you flatten. Okay, so the skin retouch workflow. I've just played this action, I'm going to open the group and you will see we have a whole bunch of layers um, set just for the skin. So I'm going to start by uh, softening the skin a little, sharpening up any detail areas, I'm going to warm using the warm layer, warm the skin up a little bit, 
as it has come out quite cool. So I have to add some life back into the photo there. And over the hair a little bit as well. So before and after using the skin retouch. And I'm just going to come back and take off a little bit of the snow where it looks a bit thick. One secret I like to use is to change the blush, mo brush mode <laughs> Sorry, from normal to dissolve. And I'm just clicking around with a white brush to add that kind of frostiness in. And back onto the winter tones just to take those kind of bright greens out. So before and after, that's using the Sharp Add White Winter, the Winter Tones Paint and the Skin Retouch Workflow. You can add a vignette, which will bring the attention back into your subjects. I'm going to change the brush back to normal, and I'm just going to paint this vignette off here. So that is four actions that have totally transformed this image. You can play some of the washes. We have a dark cobalt wash, which is one of my personal favourites. This will add a real balloonness to the scene. You can take the opacity right down depending on your image. Also have uh, Rose Ice, which is a really cool pink um, wash. If pink can be cool, then this one definitely is. You have um, the Blue Winter Wash, which is an instant winterizing tone. I think I like that one for this image. I'm just going to paint that off their faces in the car. I'll turn it down a little. And now I'm going to add snow um, using the Add Still Snow paint on. These are great for photos or you have the Add the Snow video. So for now I'm going to add a still snow. Um, let's add Fine Snow Sharp I think for this one. You don't have to use overlays or anything like that. Um, it creates it straight away in Photoshop. And this will add falling snow to the image. Going to paint this off the subjects a little bit, but I do like to leave some in the hair. May add some uh, fine snow soft. You can layer these up and paint them on and off um, as you like, depending on um, you know the, the kind of the feel you want for your image. But mixing and matching them is a great idea. Large foreground snow, this will add some um, large flakes um, to give the appearance of depth to your snow. So that's just playing out. I'm just going to paint on until I find a few. I don't need that one there, so I just switch to a black brush. So there we go. That is the LSP Ice Kiss Winter Collection. And that's how easy it is to change your photo uh, to a really bright kind of Christmassy winter feel. And now for part two, I'm going to add snow video. This will create um, a brand new image. So you're not um, saving the video over your original, so you can go ahead and save this one. So I'm going to click here, create video overlay. This is creating a brand new image that's so resized for social. Hit continue and choose the snow video that you would like to go on it. So how about Gentle Snowfall Sparkle for this one? Again, you can watch the other videos for a more in-depth tutorial of how to use this one. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit by sliding this action um, up here. So let's play and see what it looks like. Lovely. 
I'm going to come on the, uh, the video layer here with the black brush, exactly the same as you did it a normal layer, and just take this off the faces a little bit. And there we go. And that's using the um, Add Snow video action, which as you can see is super quick and easy to set up. I'm going to save this video using the Save Video Overlay as a video following the instructions. Again, you can see all this uh, snow video. You can see all this um, in much more detail in the other videos, the other tutorial videos. This video is an overview. So that's just exporting and when that's done I will show you the finished piece. Okay, so I'm regularly pausing this video so you don't have to sit here and uh, listen to me waffle on, but you may find it takes a while to export the video um, because Photoshop has got to render the video um, in a high enough resolution for it to look good and um, when you play it back as an MP4 it's got to create that for you. So it can take a while. Um, on my computer it takes maybe three or four minutes. Um, it obviously depends on how fast your computer is and how many other programs you've got open, as well as how many snow layers you have um, and whether you've shortened the video or not. So this is, this is moving about average I'd say. So do be patient while it renders. Uh, this is nearly done now. And once this progress bar disappears, it means your video has rendered. So I'm just going to open this. I've got this open on my um, my other screen. Here we go. And that is the finished article. And that's using the LSP Ice Kissed Winter Photoshop Action Suite, which also includes these moving snow uh, layers that you can export as an MP4 for your clients. And that is available at www.lsp-actions.com.